What is up guys, this is Brian Story and welcome to your second tutorial on Linux. So in this tutorial, what we're going to do is just plug this in, power on our box, and install Linux off the flash drive. We're waiting for it to post. There it goes. Okay guys, now for me, my, my television is my monitor. So my motherboard won't actually detect it, so that's why it's beeping a couple extra times. It kind of let me know there's no monitor plugged in. Um, but what will happen now is Ubuntu is going to boot off of that thumb drive that we plugged in and go ahead and load up, and when that loads up, it'll detect my monitor. Or my t television as my monitor. Now one important thing to remember about Ubuntu is that you can load it right off of the thumb drive anytime you want. It won't save anything, so if I created a bunch of folders right now, it won't save it. All this is pretty much loaded in the memory of the computer. But I can play around with it, I can see how everything works, I can install it right off the desktop with this icon right here. But the first thing that we're going to do is connect to the network, and I'm running a wireless network, so. I have to actually log in. And connect. Okay, connection established, we're good. Now what we're going to do guys is click on install Ubuntu. You guys might have a different version of Ubuntu than me. I'm running 12.04. If you guys have a later version, it should run almost exactly the same way, so you can go ahead and just follow along. It's going to ask me what language I want. I speak English, so I'm going to continue with English. Connect to the internet, download updates while installing, and install this third-party software, which is a few other cool things like MP3, not MP3, MPEG layers, MP3 plugin. Uh, a few other little things that are nice. Erase disk and install Ubuntu. So guys, this is kind of your breakpoint. Either you're going to use the entire hard drive for Ubuntu or you're going to partition it so that you can run Windows and Ubuntu, but we're going to do an erase everything and install Ubuntu in this tutorial. So select your drive, here's my SCSI, 60GB ATA, and we're just going to install it right now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead while this does everything it's going to do, or not. Let's see, I'm in Chicago, it detected that, continue, English, my name, who are you? Computer name, username, password, cool. So guys, go ahead and uh, enter in your name here. A computer name. Soon to be filled OEM. We're going to call this computer Dragon. Dragon Force. Because dragons are awesome and force is always a good thing, right? So choose password. My username is Brian. My password shall be what? I use something generic. It considers it to be a fair password. Um, do I want it to log me in automatically or require my password at login? I'm going to say log me in automatically because I'm going to be lazy and I'm not going to want to log in every single time. Encrypt my home folder. This is cool if you're on the go a lot and you lose your laptop or something that's running Ubuntu and then no one can really get your files, but okay, we're just going to continue with this. All that stuff is all set up, ready to go. And now guys, I will go ahead and uh, skip ahead. Okay guys, now that the installation is complete, let's uh, click restart now and let's load up our desktop. So go ahead and restart your computer, remove the thumb drive, and let it load up the hard drive.